Cambridge Young Learners English Tests Flyers Second Edition by Petrina Cliff Published and Copyright Oxford University Press 2018 Hello This is the Flyers Listening Test Test 4 Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. The group's very good, isn't it? It's OK. That's my father over there. Which one's he? Well, can you see the two men taking photos? Yes. Well, he's the taller one. His name's Harry. He thinks he's a photographer. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Those boys playing the drums are noisy, aren't they? Yes. One of them's my brother, Alex. Oh? Which one? The one with his hands in the air. Oh, I see. And those two girls can dance very well. Do you think so? Yes. Well, I don't like Vicky. She's the one with the glasses. Why not? She isn't very kind to me. I think I like the singers. What about you? They're OK. But Anna, you know, the one with the curly hair, she's the best. Is she? Oh, yes. Well, she looks happy. Yes, she does. I don't think that girl likes the group. Which one? The one with the straight hair? Yes, that's right. She's my sister. She's called Emma. And she's horrible. But look at those boys with the guitars. Do you like them? Well, they're a bit loud. Oh, I know. That one there's called Jack. He's great. Which one? The one under the light. Oh, yes. I see him. Now listen to part one again. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Uh, excuse me. How can I help you? Oh, you see, I've lost my handbag. I had it in town this morning, and then I... Just a minute, just a minute. I'll get a pen. Now then, could I have your name, please? Your full name? Bethany Phillips. Can you spell the surname, please? Yes. OK. P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Now then, could you give me your address, please? Oh, that's 27 Swan Street, Brighton. You know the fire station? Well, I live very near there and not far from that big supermarket. Now then, uh, sorry, what have you lost? My handbag. I've lost my handbag. It's brown. Right. How did you lose this bag? Well, you see, the bus didn't come for ages, so I put my bag down at the bus stop, and then it came and I got on. OK. So what was inside the bag, then? Just tell me slowly. Oh, well, there was all my money and... Oh dear, 
there was my house key, and, oh yes, there were two letters. I wanted to post them, you see. And nothing else then? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Because I've got this other bag for my shopping, you see, and I bought some jeans and a nice jacket, and they're in here, so... Right. Good. And could you give me your phone number, please? Oh, yes. It's 06235-453-010. But we're all out in the mornings because Dad's at work and... Thank you. Now, if I have any news about your bag, I'll phone you, of course, uh, in the afternoon. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of... <laughs> Goodbye now. Bye then. Now listen to part two again. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Where are the things that Jill has left at her aunt's house? Hello? Aunt May? Is that you? Hello, dear. I'm just ringing to thank you for a lovely weekend. I had a great time. Oh, that's good. And did you get home OK, dear? Oh, yes, thanks. But, Aunt May, I'm afraid I left one or two things at your house. Could you post them to me, please? OK, dear. What was it you left? Well, there's my brush. I used it in the bathroom. It's on the shelf, under the mirror. I don't know how I forgot it, but I do need it. All right, dear. Anything else? Can you see the letter C? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Oh, yes. A few other things. Sorry. Never mind. Where are they, then? Well, there's my comb. Uh, it isn't with my brush. It's next to the television in Anna's bedroom. No, I had it after that. No, on the table by the bed. Yes, I remember. I put it there. Are you sure, dear? Yes. Yes. And then there's my house key. Oh, you must be more careful, dear. Yes. When I got home, everyone was out and I couldn't get in the house for two hours. It was terrible. But the thing is, you know I went shopping and bought some dresses. Well, it's in that plastic shopping bag on the kitchen floor. You haven't thrown it away, have you? No, I'm sure I haven't. OK, good. Well, one of the dresses had a really nice belt with it. And Anna wore it when we went out last night and she didn't give it back to me. It's under her bed, I think. No, on her bookcase by the door. That's right, she picked it up. I remember. OK, I'll ask her about that then. And also... Something else? Well, yes. There's my torch. What did you need that for? Oh, well, Anna and I went outside into the garden on Saturday night and played games in the dark with it. It was very exciting. Didn't you see us? No, I didn't. So where did you put that then? Well, I left it downstairs in the kitchen, on that shelf just above the fridge. Oh, yes, I can see it. So, is that everything then? Just one more thing. My umbrella. Sorry. OK. Where is it? Well, I didn't need it. The weather was so nice, wasn't it? So, I left it on the table by the telephone. You know, near the front door. 
Oh, yes, it's right here. And that must be everything, surely. Yes, Aunt May. And who's going to pay for all the stamps? That's what I'd like to know. Sorry, Aunt May. Now listen to part three again. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Where's William going to go with his school friends? So, William, are you excited about going away with your school friends? Oh, yes. It'll be better than last time. I thought you liked all that climbing in the mountains. Yes, but the sea will be so much more fun. It's a long way from a town, though. That doesn't matter. You're not going to do any shopping. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What has William forgotten to put in his rucksack? So you've got everything you need. You've got a towel and your toothbrush. Yes, Dad. It's all in my rucksack. And I haven't forgotten my phone or my money. And you've got some stamps and envelopes so you can write to us. No, I haven't. Oh, do I have to write, Dad? Yes, you do. Two. What's the weather going to be like? Well, you should have a nice time. The weather's going to be lovely. Not like last year, then. It rained nearly every day. And it was really windy, too. No, it'll be better than that. Are you sure? Yes. Three. Where's William going to stay? The place looks really nice, too. Have you seen this picture? No tents this time, then. That's good. No. The teachers say we have to stay with families. I wanted to stay in a big hotel, but it was too expensive. I'm sure you'll be fine. Four. How is William going to get there? Come on. We have to leave now. I wish I could go on a plane. It'd be so exciting. Well, you can't. What time does the bus leave school? Oh, I don't know. A train would be quicker, wouldn't it? Yes, but not cheaper. Five. What doesn't William want to eat when he's away? And then there's the food. What about it? Well, I'm not going to eat any vegetables. You should try, you know. And some salad, too. Well, I don't mind that. With fish and chips, of course. You can't eat that every day, William. Now listen to part four again. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. That's a lovely picture. I've never seen snow. Haven't you, Helen? Well, would you like to colour the picture? OK. What shall I colour first? Well, can you see the two boys who are skiing? Yes. One of them is lying in the snow. Well, colour that boy's shoes red. Can you see the red shoes? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. There are two snowmen in the picture. Yes. The one at the front's fatter. I like that one best. Can I colour its hat? Well, colour its scarf instead. OK. 
Can I do it purple? Yes, that's a lovely colour. Two. Look at those girls on the bridge. They're throwing snowballs. I'd love to do that. Yes, you'd enjoy it, I'm sure. Shall I colour their gloves orange? Yes, but only for the girl who's got both hands in the air. Oh, OK then. Three. Look, there are some spaces for writing words. Yes, there's a girl who's ice skating really well. There's a space for writing a word in the box on her right. Can you see it? Yes, but what shall I write there? Write the word winter. Can you do that? Yes, I can. Four. There are two children on sledges. Yes, there are. Can you see the child who's nearer the bottom of the hill? Yes. Well, colour her trousers. Can I do them green? Yes, if you want. OK, I'm doing that now. Five. Can you write something else now? OK. What shall I write? Well, there are some words and a space for writing on the left, at the bottom of the picture. Yes, I can see that. Well, can you write the word snacks in the space there? OK. That's excellent, Helen. Now listen to part five again. That is the end of the Flyers Listening Test 4.